all thanks to TikTok, dude, because I had no idea that this existed. I don't know how, but I'm so glad I came across it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do like a little battle of the transfer papers. So I'm going to be comparing two brands. I'm going to compare the Photo Paper Direct with the Avery. So both of these are meant for light fabrics and both of these can be found on Amazon, but I only got the Avery one on there. And for 10 sheets, I paid $16.28. And for this one, I got it directly on their website. I think their website is photopaperdirect.com. So for 10 sheets, I paid $6.95. So right off the bat, there's a big difference in price. I know this brand is on Amazon, but I think it's more pricier there. So just remember that. I would just suggest if you're looking into this brand, just buy directly from them because I also use the coupon code. So yeah. So both of these are meant for light fabrics, but I know that both brands also carry transfer paper for dark fabrics only. Um, I've seen people actually use the dark transfers on like light clothing. So I'm not sure if the dark one is like better overall but I know that the light transfer sheets you can't use in darker fabrics so maybe the darker transfer paper is like more universal maybe that should be another battle the light fabric versus dark since I do have the PPD one let me know should I do it I don't know so one of the main reasons why I wanted to play around with these transfer papers was because I actually just got the Cricut easy press so I was excited to try that out and I wanted an excuse to use it on camera you know and don't be alarmed if you don't have a heat press at home you could still achieve this by using a regular iron that you have at home it is gonna take a little bit longer but you should still get the same results and honestly I was tired of using an iron which is why I invested in an easy press I'm like hell yeah this is gold all thanks to TikTok, dude, because I had no idea that this existed. I don't know how, but I'm so glad I came across it. But yeah. So for these transfers, I'm using the same white t-shirt and I'm using the same image. That way it's easier to tell like the differences between the two. And here are the shirts. I'm not going to show you the results just yet. But yeah, let's get started. So I'm starting off by opening the photo I want to transfer and I'm using Photoshop to edit my picture. So first thing I'm going to do is just open up the image size settings and I'm changing the resolution to 300 dpi that way it's like better quality. And then I'm changing the height to 9 inches. You could change yours to whatever you prefer. And I'm starting off with the PPD transfer paper so I'm just putting it into my printer and make sure the logo is towards the back. So as I was editing I realized that I was looking at the wrong directions while I was making this. I was looking at the ones for the dark fabric instead of the light fabric. And for the light fabric you do need to mirror. Obviously I didn't. Can't believe I did it wrong. So make sure to mirror yours and just print. So for the Avery transfer paper, you do need to mirror the image. So go ahead and flip your image horizontally and put in your paper onto your printer. And again, the logo has to be towards the back. So just go ahead and print. So this clip is the same speed as the previous printing clip. I don't know if you could tell, but the printing is much slower in this one. Once they were both printed, I just let them to dry for like 10 minutes and now I'm just cutting the excess parts that I don't want on my shirt. Make sure you're careful when you're cutting, especially if you're using a cutter. A little bit of my photo lifted and this was on the Avery transfer paper, so keep that in mind and just be careful. So, so far, obviously the main difference is that this one had to be mirrored, but I'm also noticing some other things. So in the printing process, this one actually took way longer to print. It was like doing it in sections, while this one, it completely came out right away. And then in this one, I'm seeing lines in the black, like the printing lines, and this one I'm not. But on this one, the black isn't blended into the paper as well as this one. Like this one, you could see like little white spots. I guess it's like the paper, and you could see it in his hair too and in her hair. So this one looks more computer generated rather than this one. And then the color of this, like it's more contrasted. There's darker shadows as compared to this one. So this one is like a little bit brighter with like the pinks and the purples as opposed to this one. Like this blue right here is darker than this one. So let's iron them on and see how it goes. Start by placing the t-shirt flat on a heat resistant surface. I'm using the Easy Press Matte and then iron over the front of it to get rid of any wrinkles and moisture. Then fold your shirt in half and this is going to help us find the center. Then iron the fold for a few seconds and there you have the center of your t-shirt. Lay the Avery transfer paper face down where you want it to go. 
I made mine two inches below the neckline, but I would suggest going one to two inches lower. I feel like it looks better that way. And make sure your transfer is centered by using the guide on your shirt. Now take a Teflon sheet or parchment paper and put it over the transfer to protect it. Then place the easy press over and turn it on to start. I have it at 320 degrees for 30 seconds and I'm applying a little bit of pressure to it. If you're using an iron, make sure there's no water or steam and apply hard pressure in different sections and don't let it sit in one place for too long. Once it stopped, I moved it around to ensure the easy press got all the sides. Double check the corners and if you feel like it needs more, then press it again. And once you feel like it's ready, let it sit for two to three minutes to cool down. Then carefully peel it off. This part was actually kind of difficult because the edges didn't seem to be pressed completely, so it was hard to lift up. And I finally found an edge that was pressed, so I peeled it carefully. The corners didn't press well at all, so be careful with sharp edges on your transfer. The instructions do say to keep edges rounded, so keep that in mind. I decided to reattempt to press the edges and see if it would help, and it did a little bit. And this is how the Avery transfer turned out. I prepped the other shirt the same way as the previous one, so just ironed it and found the center. So this is the PPD transfer. Like I stated before, I looked at the wrong directions for this one. I actually had to do the same thing as I did for the Avery, which was mirror the image and iron facing down. But as you can see, I'm peeling off the backing. This is how it's done for the dark fabric PPD transfer, which is why I got confused. So don't be like me and please pay attention. <laughs> so I just laid the transfer where I wanted it. I transferred this one the same way as the Avery, so same settings and everything. And even though I'm using a Teflon sheet, the PPD transfers actually did come with a silicone sheet to use, which I think is very convenient. I used the Teflon sheet because I already had it, but it's cool that they included that. The edges for this one were also having a hard time transferring, so I kept going back to press. Wait a few seconds and then carefully peel it. So this is how the PPD transfer turned out. Even though I did it totally wrong in the beginning, it actually looks good. So now I'm wondering if I even did it wrong or if you could actually do it both ways. I don't know, but at least it looks good. So here they are transferred onto the t-shirts. So the big difference would have to be the color. This one, as you can see, the background has some purples and some pinks. As for this one, it has some blues and pinks. Also their color, this one is more orangey and this one is less bright. So like the contrast is still here. It's like the dark shadows. This one you can't see it as much, so that's the major difference. And then another big difference would have to be the way the transfer bonded onto the fabric. This one looks like it laid down flat, like you could kind of see the design of the knit peek through. So this one has a little bit of texture to it, kind of feel like the fibers spread out or something. They didn't lay flat like this one. So that's why I gave it a little bit of texture, like a fuzzy texture. But yeah, those are the big differences. Now let's wash them and see if it makes a difference. Always wait 24 hours before washing and then turn the shirts inside out. Even though Photo Paper Direct states not to wash in a delicate setting, I wash them in delicate because that's how I wash all my clothes and I feel like it's the less damaging setting. So after they were done washing, I threw them in the dryer for a minute and once I took them out of that, I was freaking out because they ended up being so wrinkled. I don't know if it was a washer setting because I didn't look at them right away or the dryer setting but oh my god, it was not a good combination. So here they are after they air dried. They're still wrinkled, but not as bad as how they looked before. This one is definitely more wrinkled. And then on the inside, this one kind of feels like the transfer detached from the shirt. And this one, not so much. You can kind of feel it adhere to the t-shirt. This is how they look on the inside and you can clearly see the Avery one is more wrinkled. The instructions for both of these stated that a low tumble dry is okay, so I'm not exactly sure if that was the problem. I also really don't think it was a delicate setting either since that's a gentle cycle, so I'm thinking it's just the transfers in general that are very sensitive. I decided to attempt to repress them and see if that makes a difference and fixes them. To repress them, I'm using a lower heat setting and time so it isn't too harsh on the transfers, and this one is a PPD transfer and I put it for 15 seconds. The first press kind of helped, but I tried it two more times to see if I could smooth out the black parts, which were the most noticeable. 
and even though you can still see some of the wrinkles, it's definitely not as bad as before. I did the same thing for the Avery transfer but only pressed it two times since it had less wrinkles. It definitely helped but the transfer on this one was still loose in the back. Pressing them again definitely made a huge difference but it was a bummer that I even had to do that in the first place. So definitely be cautious when washing these. So here are the shirts after everything. As you could see we came across a little dilemma after I washed it. Not sure if it was my fault or the transfer faults but I guess we'll never know. So this one is a photo paper direct and this one is an Avery. I do have critiques for both so let's get started on those. So for this one the main thing that I liked was the color. I think this one was the one that was the most true to the image on the screen. So I really like that. I like how the shadows weren't as dark. Like you could still see their features. Like even the darker sections that you would think would turn black still have a little bit of color in them. And the paper is thinner on this one. So it kind of blends more with the fabric. So one of the main cons for this one is the way it wrinkled after it was washed. And you could definitely tell on the black sections. Like it's just little wrinkles that it has. And it stands out because obviously in the black. Like in the background you can't really tell but their whole body, like their clothes, you could tell since it's black. That's just one of the issues. As you saw, I had to heat press both after, which I honestly don't mind doing. Like if I have to do that every time I wash it, I really, it's like whatever's to me. But the fact that like the wrinkles don't go away, it's kind of like, ugh, kind of disappointing. But I'm thinking since it's such a big image, that's probably what happened with both. I think the wrinkling won't happen as much if let's say you have like smaller pictures and there's more scattered, you get me? Like since it, this is practically a whole page, I feel like that's the issue with this one. Now for the Avery one, the main thing that I liked about this one is how it didn't wrinkle as much. Like it wrinkled after it was washed, but once I heat press it again, it like kind of completely went away. They're not all gone, but it's definitely way better than the PPD one. So even though the wrinkles did go away inside the shirt, you can kind of feel where it, like the transfer is not attached to the shirt. So it's kind of like wrinkly in the back. For this one, since I did have to take out the backing after it was heat pressed, it was kind of hard because the edges didn't want to come off. So they ended up being loose. So these edges were kind of like sticking out, which isn't really a good thing, especially since the edges are so sharp. Then also the color, I do not like com as compared to the other one. Like this one, the shadows are so dark. And I also don't like the color that they ended up, you know, it's like not true to color. Maybe if it's like a different image and it's not people, it'll come out better. But as for this one, it didn't really look as good as the other one. They just look super orangey and not like the original. So that's one of the things that I didn't like. So here is the Avery one and here is the PPD. Which one do you guys like more? Honestly, I wish one of them would like completely beat out the other and I don't think that's the case in this one. They both had their good things and they both had their bad things. The PPD one, I will say, had more positives than negatives. The only negative was how it wrinkled so much, but that's like the main thing. You don't want your transfer to like get ugly, you know? The Avery one, I think the main con was the color. It just didn't look good. Like, no. I wish just one of them just knocked one of them out of the park, you know, but... They're both kind of like eh. But if I had to choose one, like just one only, I don't know. I kind of think like the PPD for dark fabrics might be better. Still haven't tried that one out on light fabrics, so I don't know. But I might have to do that to try it out. But if I had to choose just one between these, I think I would have to go with the PPD. The wrinkles did bother me, but the wrinkles are noticeable on the black only. So overall, the winner to me so far, uh, I don't know. The PPD one, you could still try out the Avery just, you know. But dude, this one's cheaper. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with PPD. Yeah, it's cheaper. Overall, it's a little bit better. So okay, let's rank. Let's rank both. So this one, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. The PPD one. And the Avery, I'm gonna give it... Let's give it a 7 out of 10. Because only the color is what was ugly. PPD is the winner. Let's go with this one. And by the way, if you didn't know, Titanic is my favorite, which is why I chose them. I love them. So this was my battle of the transfer papers. I had a little fail along the way, but hey, it was my first impression. So I have to show you everything that went on, you know? It was kind of like a learning experience. Like I know what not to do for the next time. So overall, I don't think it went that bad. I like the shirts because as I stated, I love me some Titanic. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that these transfers don't stretch. So don't put it on a form-fitting t-shirt or like a form-fitting garment because once you put it on, it's just going to like peel off like just come apart so I just put it on something that's a little bit looser than your body that way it like doesn't stretch or anything so keep that in mind I really hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me your thoughts in the comments subscribe if you're not already and yeah I'll catch you in my next video bye